Okay then, the next step is to position the room so that the bottom of the cube is in line with the grid here. Um, that's my incremental save, that shows that that works. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make sure that it lines up. So to do that, you want to get a nice sort of view of your cube, so you can see what you're doing. And then we're going to use the translate tool, which is this little chap over here. Uh, it looks like a cone that's in a hurry. Okay, so if you give that a click, you'll notice that you get a manipulator uh, with three arrows on. Now the arrows are brilliant, it means that you can move it in one direction at once. Uh, and it shows you which direction you're working. You've got a little axis down here, so you've got Z, Y and X. Z being depth, um, your X is side to side and Y is up and down. And I want to just move it up and down um, because the other positions are fine. So I want to click on this green um, arrow which will go yellow to show I've got it selected and then I'm just going to drag that up and try and get that as in line as I can. That's not bad going. Okay now to be even more precise than that I'm going to use an orthographic view. Um, an orthographic view is a view that doesn't show any perspective so when things go backwards they don't get any smaller like they would in real life or in this view. If I zoom out that gets smaller. In an orthographic view you can't zoom in or out. Um, in fact you can, you can zoom in and out, you just can't move around things. Um, so if you're lucky enough to have a decent sized screen you'll have your four view down here which is useful. For me I'm going to access that by going to window, saved layouts and clicking on four view and this shows um, three orthographic views, one from the top, one from the front, one from the side as well as, as the perspective view that we've just been looking at. And to frame it up, I'm just going to hover my mouse in each window and press the A key so that it shows things clearly. Okay, and now from either the front or side, I'm going to hover my mouse inside it and I'm just going to tap spacebar to make that um, view full screen. So there we go. And I can see that I'm not quite in line. So I'm just going to zoom in on this try and get this as precise as possible. I can see that needs to go up a little bit more. Okay, so that's not bad at all. So I'm going to tap spacebar again to go back to the four view and then I'm going to go back into my perspective view by hovering the mouse in this window and then tapping spacebar again. Bosh. Okay, and then one other thing that I'm going to change is that I can see by looking at translate wire that I haven't got it exactly at the right height because I know that the grid is in the center and I made this 10 units high um, for it to be exactly in line with the floor that should say 5 so I'm just going to type that in because I'm a little cheat. Okay so that then is um, the room in position.